Hi Commander Galactic Bacon here and welcome to my channel. My video today is going to be part of an ongoing uh, FAQ series for Elite Dangerous and my topic today is about what should you do when you get a message such as jump exceeds dry fuel use limit. Um, now I'm going to demonstrate the main way that this uh, can happen or at least the, the way I've seen it happen before. Um, the main reason you will see this message is when you have targeted a system and then you change something in your ship that changes the weight of it and so your original jump target is uh, your jump range is now reduced for that particular target if that makes sense um, I'll demonstrate this just now just how this would come about. So I'm currently in a space station. Okay. Uh, I'm going to select a target in my galaxy map. I'll choose something a uh, reasonable distance away. Let's see. Or at least a reasonable distance in one jump. How far away is that? Try and find something a bit further away. It doesn't actually really matter how far away it is, but the further away the better. So my jump range at the moment is currently 22 light years. So I'm looking for something in that sort of range. Right, we'll try this one. 21.75 so we could do it in one jump yeah okay and then what, I, what I'm going to do I'm going to go into starport services and I'm going to pick up some commodities now this could also happen if you pick up a mission and the mission happens to have stuff that you have to uh, fill up your cargo bay with uh, but I'm just going to buy something uh, let's say superconductors that will do so I've got cargo bay 4 doesn't matter what size of cargo bay you have uh, you know this can happen no matter what size of ship so I'm going to buy those 4 ok so there's my cargo hold so definitely in there if I go back to my galaxy map, you will notice that my jump range has changed to 20.81 and the target was 21.75 light years. So we have a problem. But most of the time, uh, most players will not even notice that that change is taking place. So what you would typically do is, uh, okay, I've set my target, I've picked up my goods, I'm going to launch my ship. Here we go. Then we head for the target. Okay, what the game has done is it has rerouted me because it knows that I don't have enough fuel. But sometimes it won't be able to do that. So to demonstrate what would happen, I'm going to take this down below the jump distance if I can. Yeah, so 22.63. So that's going to try and do a direct jump there. So it's retargeted. So that's my original target. So if I now try and jump, yeah, it's not going to work. So jump exceeds dry fuel use limit. Um, so what you can do in that scenario is you really have to change your route. It doesn't mean that you've run out of fuel. 
just means you are not able to make that um, journey in one jump. So clear your route and then if you choose the same target and then Elite will reroute it accordingly. It's not allowing me to do it because I fiddled with the jump range. Okay. Try again. There we go. So it's now taking me via another star system instead of doing it in one jump. And so there we have a different target, which is only 14.2 light years away. Um, so that's the way around that problem, and it perhaps explains why it happens. Um, so hopefully that has answered your question today. If you are starting out in Elite Dangerous and looking for some guidance, you should check out my Beginner's Guide playlist. It's indicated in the top right now. If you'd like to be notified about future videos, please subscribe. Click the bell icon below and check out the description as well for other videos. Feel free to leave a question in the comments if I can help you with anything. Thanks for watching, fly safe and I'll see you next time.